The Idaho National Lab gives us a first ever look at a security program that helps protect the country from a cyber attack. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. For the first time ever, we get to take a peek into, into the INL Labs as they show us how they protect the nation from cyber attacks and it'll all be, uh, it'll all rather be in our own backyard. Reporter Sasha Zimmerman has met with the INL employees all day today and she shows us what they do. Well, Todd, I've been at a training in Idaho Falls learning how people from our community protect the nation's critical infrastructure. 157, is that the other one? That one, I'm not sure. Employees in this room are at a training center where they're demonstrating how to protect a company's industrial control system. What we're doing is we're running a mock attack and defense exercise in order to train the uh, owners of industrial control system equipment how to detect an attack and to prevent it when it happens. More and more, the nation's industries are becoming vulnerable to cyber attacks as they continue to upgrade their technology. The Idaho National Lab has a sector called National and Homeland Security, which is responsible for overseeing these problems. If a hacker were to get into one of these industrial control systems, they could cause some major damage. Everything from gas refining to power lines to food processing is run by computers. INL shows us an example of how this is done. In this mock attack, the red team breaks into the blue team's database system and makes water spill out of a container. This is just one example of something that could happen in real life. So how does National and Homeland Security get notified of these attacks? So the Department of Homeland Security through its control system security program has both proactive mitigation measures where we partner up front with private industry to help them uh, better secure their systems initially. We also have a reactive response force type of capability through the industrial control system cyber emergency response team so that in the event something happens we can deploy a team to help that asset owner regain their control and fix the issues that have been discovered. So INL's job is to defend the industry system and provide emergency assistance in the moment the attack is happening. Today I learned the nation's critical infrastructure is more secure because of what groups are doing in these facilities. Now the National Lab and Homeland Security Department are involved in a partnership. Homeland Security is not a sector of the lab, but Homeland Security is also not allowed to give out information about which companies they work with, but they say law enforcement knows their contact information if someone needs.